Ah, it is true. This is the book he read yesterday. True. Give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. This time it's practice on adjective clauses. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, complete the paragraph with who, that, or nothing. This zero, if you can see it here, means nothing. You do not add anything. You just leave it there, okay? Use zero if the relative pronoun can be omitted. So if there is a choice between adding a relative pronoun or not, just leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. I'm going to read it to you, and let's do it. Administrative assistants are people who work in an office helping a manager. They often solve problems. The manager doesn't have time for. The job duties they have can vary. They usually deal with any correspondence comes in for the manager. They're usually the ones answer the phone for the manager too. Let me uh, do the first one. Administrative assistants are people who are people who work in an office helping a manager. All right, you have two to five and a mark of four. And we know that because who is our people. Okay. And of course, work, if you say who work, you write that because the verb comes before a subject. All right. You have three marks to do the rest. Okay, now let's check the model answer. Number two, it's an optional, so the relative pronoun can be omitted. Three, it is the same, the relative pronoun can be omitted. Number four, 
you should write that. Number five, you should write who. All right, let's jump to task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question, write four sentences using adjective clauses. Use two relative pronouns as subjects and two as objects, like the examples below. You have a mark of eight. This is the day that comes after a long holiday. This is the day that comes after a long holiday. So this is an example for you to follow. Write two for relative pronouns as subjects and two as objects. And you have three minutes. All right, now please check your answers, but before that, you, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Let's check the model answer. Number one, the boy who ran fast was about to fall. This sentence should be different to yours, but you should check this sentence and compare it to yours. Number two, that tree that bore some fruit is a mango tree. This is the phone my father bought on my birthday. The game that you played is very interesting. Compare the, uh, the set of answers to your answers. Well done. 
Give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson. Then calculate your mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use the adjective clauses in writing. And you should have a total mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 marks, you can go over the parts you failed in and redo them. If you have 75% or lower than that, then go over the whole lesson and redo it. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.